In this video, we are going to go over most of the basic properties that we learned in Algebra 1. We're going to start with the properties of real numbers and then get into the properties of equality. So a lot of this is going to be writing down definitions. If you get confused at any part in this review, please feel free to go back to the Algebra 1 lessons to get a more in-depth explanation of each of these properties. And you can find that on my website, maymap.com. But let's jump into the properties of real numbers right now. The following properties are for all real numbers, A, B, and C. Let's start with the commutative property. After the commutative, we'll go over the associative, then the identity, the inverse, and then the distributive. And these properties with addition and multiplication. So let's go over addition first, and then we'll go over multiplication so you can see the similarities. The commutative property for addition, a plus b equals b plus a. Associative, a plus b plus c equals a plus b plus c where a and b in, are in parentheses on the left hand, and b and c are in parentheses on the right hand. Identity, a plus zero is equal to zero plus a, which is simply a, and the inverse, which just says that a added to the opposite of a or the opposite of a added to a is going to be equal to zero. Now for multiplication, the commutative property says a times b equals b times a. The associative property says a times b times c equals a times b times c. That's where a and b are in parentheses on the left hand and b and c are in parentheses on the right hand side of the equation. The identity just says that when you multiply 1 to a, so whether that be a times 1 or 1 times a, it's going to be equal to a. And then the inverse. a times 1 over a is equal to 1 over a times a, and that is equal to 1. And this holds true when a is not equal to 0. If a were equal to 0, 1 over 0 would be undefined. Now we're going to go over the distributive property. The distributive property contains both addition and multiplication, so it doesn't go into any particular group. It simply says that a times b plus c is equal to a b plus a c. When doing the distributive or explaining, it's helpful to draw arrows. So the a is multiplied to the b, and that's added to the a, which is multiplied to the c. And that's a review of the properties of real numbers. Now let's go over the properties of equality. The first property we'll go over is reflexive. And the reflexive property says for any real number, remember that symbol R represents the real numbers, so for any real number A, A is equal to a. So if a was 4, 4 equals 4. If a was an expression such as x plus 2, then we know that x plus 2 is equal to x plus 2. 
Next is the symmetric. So the symmetric says, for all real numbers, a and b, if a is equal to b, then b is equal to a. So if a was equal to 4 and b was equal to x plus 5, then x plus 5 is also equal to 4. So if a, if a equals 4 and b was x plus 5, then x plus 5 is equal to 4. Next is the transitive. The transitive property says for all real numbers a, b, and c, if a is equal to b and b equal to c, then a would be equal to c. For example, if a was equal to 3 and b was equal to y plus 1, that y plus 1 is equal to c, and let's say c was x squared. Well then, by the transitive property, this 3 would be equal to x squared, because 3 is equal to y plus 1, and y plus 1 was equal to x squared. So then this 3 is equal to the x squared. a equals b, and b equals c, then a equals c. We also have substitution. Substitution basically says that if a is equal to b, then a may replace b, and b may replace a. We also have addition and subtraction properties of equality. This says that for any real number, a, b, and c, if a is equal to b, then a plus c is equal to b plus c, and a minus c is equal to b minus c. And we also, like addition and subtraction properties of equality, have multiplication and division properties of equality. which says, for any real numbers a, b, and c, if a equals b, then a times c equals b times c, and a divided by c equals b divided by c. And for the division case, remember, c cannot equal zero, because then the fractions would be undefined. So if a equals b, a plus c equals b plus c, a minus c equals b minus c, a times c equals b times c, and a over c equals b over c. So now that we've done a quick review of the properties of real numbers and properties of equality, we're ready to jump into solving equations. And I'll give you a few tips and refreshers in the next video for solving equations.